family it's your girl Leah back again with another video and today's video is just another foundation review video and today's foundation as you can see from the title is a very much so anticipated by me solely me I wanted to try this foundation and it is the Bobbi Brown skin foundation SPF 15 now I wanted to try this foundation I've wanted to try it forever you guys know I bought this at the Sephora VIB sale because I have been holding out I was influenced by an influencer everybody knows her makeup Shayla here on YouTube to purchase this foundation simply because she raves about how skin like this foundation looks now if you're not familiar with my foundation review series like this is in the first impressions I test the foundation out Monday through Friday with different applicators different primers and all that and then come on here at the end of the week and tell you guys what I specifically thought of the foundation whether I loved it whether I would repurchase it what my overall thoughts are also if you're not familiar with my series every foundation that I have tried in this series is listed down below in terms of my shade so if you think we might be foundation shade twinsies check that description box because we may actually be this foundation now like I said I was influenced by makeup Shayla to get this foundation actually I screenshot her snapchat when she talked about it just so I could get an idea of what shade she was in it because I sometimes think we look similar now I went in the stores and swatched 6.5 so that's what stage she said she was in it did not look right on me so I ended up going with the shade golden 6 now the amazing thing about this foundation is there are 11 shades darker than this shade they have an amazing shade range especially for darker skin tones now the site says in terms of coverage this is a sheer to medium coverage which if you guys don't know that's right up my alley I prefer a sheer to medium coverage one of my most favorite foundations on this channel is matte face and body and if you guys don't know that it's a very sheer coverage foundation I'm not the biggest fan of a full coverage look unless I'm doing something on camera or I'm taking photos now it says it's for all skin types I'll definitely get into whether I think that is true or not and the site says about this foundation it is a water-based oil-free foundation that delivers undetectable coverage and fresh hydrated glow for the most natural skin like finish now it says the finish is supposed to be satin radiant natural all in one I'll let you guys know what I think of the finish now first let me get to applying the foundation now in terms of applicators this week what I loved about it was that it could be applied with both I love a beauty blender sponge more so over anything but I could apply with a brush too I'm just gonna apply today with a beauty blender sponge just because I think it gives one of the most natural glowy type finishes out there now in terms of primers what I'm gonna use today and if you guys have seen my Maybelline super stay foundation review you guys know it's winter time right now my skin has been very picky about about the primers that it wants me to use I'm very much so I don't know the driest that I've been in a wintertime months and I have to go in with two with this I've gone in with my primer water by Smashbox and I've gone in with bro cream throughout the week and so that's what I'm gonna continue to do I had to be aware that I need the most hydration this winter I'm gonna shake it up it's a very much so a runny foundation it does come with a pump which for $50 it better I'm gonna pump it on the back of here so you can see how runny and liquidy it is you can definitely see the water base in it um, I'm gonna go in with three pumps and it runs on down very much so liquidy foundation which I know to some people that is a turn off but for me I love seeing this now like I said I'm gonna go in with my beauty blender sponge and it is already damp this is how it looks freshly applied fresh on my face like I say go in stores to test your shade because 6.5 if it's two shades darker than this would have been just a little bit too off for me right now now also blendable one of the most blendable foundations that I have tried to date on this channel I'd have to say very sheer coverage my skin it looks like skin if you guys are seeing right now it is my face I adore that about this foundation but I'll go ahead and apply the rest of my face and I'll come because this foundation just like other things may have some cons to other people and I will highlight these cons when I come back in a second so stay tuned now I am back I have applied the rest of my face and it's taking everything in me not to just come on here and blab about how much I love it I want to give a review not give a I love it go buy it go buy it go buy it because that's what I do want to say now 
the glow from within that this foundation gives is incredible now I'm coming off of last week having tried the Maybelline Superstay foundation if you guys saw my review on that video it was very dry it felt like nothing was on my face it was very full coverage but I said in that video that it's a foundation that I would use primarily for filming or something photography wise I would not and I did not like wearing it Monday through Friday to work every day it just was too much for that this was everything it was perfect for daytime going out work it looked like my skin it didn't look like anything but my skin had a healthy glow about it which was incredible for it to be the winter months for it to look like a glow from within and still give a radiancy that you would only think will be reserved for summer is incredible now the thing about this foundation I would say it says for all skin types I do not I do not I do not think that an oily skin person would like this foundation they would not enjoy this foundation it's not a foundation geared towards so much so an oily skin person and that's what I would say right off that so it's unfortunate that you guys can't enjoy this glow from within but I think that you guys would have so much oils produced throughout the day that it would just be too much you might would have to use a lot of powders and powder down this baby but if you guys know me I do not use any powders at any of my foundation my foundations typically last on their own all day because my skin does not produce any of the oil that would cause my foundation to break down throughout the day so that is my thoughts right off that it does not oxidize it definitely looks like my skin so like I say six was a perfect shape match I'm so glad that I went in the store and actually bought this foundation instead of ordering online like I typically do now I could go on and on but I will reserve my final thoughts for the end of day I'll go ahead and wear this foundation throughout the day if question about sheer coverage is always how long it lasts and is it a long lasting foundation because the site does claim that this is a long wearing foundation I'll let you guys know if that is indeed true and I'll come back in a few hours so stay tuned now I am back it has been about five five and a half hours of wear with this foundation as you guys know with all my foundation reviews I like to do them in natural sunlight so you guys can get the most impact of natural sunlight but with it being winter it's not like that long the sun starts setting at four and I lose all my natural sunlight so I'm coming on here now to show you guys kind of what five hours of wear looks like with this foundation however you guys know I say in all my videos I'm dry skin I come back 10 hours later and pretty much look exactly the same foundations tend to not move on my skin so I always give my skin a shout out for that now this foundation and I have to start off by saying this I don't think I said this at the beginning but I know I'm gonna get a lot of questions I've seen people review a Bobbi Brown foundation a lot more recently now and I think Bobbi Brown has a new foundation out this is not to be confused with this foundation now you guys know I bought this foundation November 2017 I think January 2018 or maybe late December 2017 Bobbi Brown released another foundation that's not this this is a kind of staple product they've had it around for years so just before I get any confusion by people like is that that new one ain't that new one I have to say though I said it a minute ago I said it throughout this video I'm going to say it again if you are dry skin stop what you're doing and order this foundation this needs to be a part of your life I talk about face and body all the time as being my favorite foundation favorite and I've stood by that from day one you never saw me come and say all of a sudden Urban Decay All Nighter is my number one foundation no face and body for a long time was my number one didn't change a thing but now it has been replaced I'm so sorry face and body I still love you and I still will repurchase you by this Bobbi Brown has taken my number one spot I cannot say enough good things about it the skin like finish of it is too like my skin still looks like skin to this moment this is a foundation I would not be scared to go out on a first date with a guy and he'd be like you got on foundation I can't tell the skin looks so clear it looks so much like skin I don't know if it's picking up on camera how skin like it looks but it is literally reflecting skin and it's not matte it's not overly matte which is a blessing because the last foundation I reviewed on here was an overly matte foundation and I, I just didn't like it it does not feel heavy on the skin I hate heavy feeling foundations it feels like I have nothing even one day this week and it's a bad no-no on me I went to sleep with my foundation on literally only because I even forgot I had foundation on when I go to work I don't put lashes on I don't do all that sometimes when I'm testing these foundations out Monday through Friday I just wear the foundation nothing else because I'm in a rush in the morning and I even forgot that night that's how good my skin was looking now I don't have cons with this foundation literally cannot think of one the only 
thing I could say that anybody who has dry skin would not like about this foundation, and I'm saying cons as for a dry skin person. Oily skin person, you're gonna have a lot of cons with this. This isn't your foundation at all. So your list of cons is a long list of cons, but the only cons I can think of for a dry skin person would be you would hate the glass bottle. I'm not a huge fan of a glass bottle. I like a more plastic bottle, but it's not like I'm that clumsy where I'm about to drop a $50 foundation on the floor and it's gonna shatter. Oh, no, 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 I'm gonna be very careful. And another con I guess would be that there is $50. I, I, I mean, it's expensive. I only own two Bobbi Brown products in my whole collection. Don't own anything other than Bobbi Brown foundation that I just bought and I've had Bobbi Brown bronze glow. You know I love this highlighter. I try not to use it as much just because it is so expensive. So I try to use this when I know it's one of them expensive days. This is what I use, but these are the only two products I have tried for Bobbi Brown and I have to say, love them. I can't, I believe, she would have all my money if I had all the money because I believe if her line is anything like these two products are, her whole line, everything Bobbi Brown makes is probably gold. I love this foundation. Gonna 100% repurchase it. Gonna stay a staple in my collection. The thing I hate about my foundation review series is that when I try a foundation I love, I don't get to come back to it as often because Monday through Friday I'm testing out a new foundation and then on Saturday when I'm filming, I'm trying that new foundation and wearing it all throughout the day. So it sucks because it's probably going to be like a few weeks before I even get to use this again. But trust me, if I see a window of time, this is going to be the only bad boy I use. Love it so much and I know you will love it too, but if you love this video make sure you give it a thumbs up if you like my content and you want to see more on these series subscribe to me list down below any other foundations you want me to try as part of the series I'm making a list so whatever you've been writing it has never been in vain I always keep a list of what you guys out there suggest for me make sure you're following me on Instagram at LeahLevon89 make sure you're following me on Snapchat at MrLeah89 and I will see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye I find like a sunrise The way she moves make a man cry I'm feeling her, feeling her so I'm wanting, I'm wanting, I'm wanting her more Tell me, no Tell me what you want to know Me, I no go lose control